Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are working on a gift uh, that we were asked to burn onto this cutting board. It's a handwritten family recipe and a couple of flowers that mean something between the grandparents and the granddaughter. So we will walk you through getting the recipe into light burn and we'll burn it. All right, we're gonna start with importing in a picture of the recipe. It's handwritten, um, so you just want to get as much contrast as you can in the picture uh, between the writing and the white background. Just shrink it down to a usable size and um, trace it. Yeah, ungroup to uh, pull out the words that you want, and there was a uh, she had messed up in writing it, so she wrote milk down at the bottom, so you're able to delete the scribbled out word and put milk right on in there. Just delete all this extra little stuff that came through in the photo after the tracing. And then what I like to do is to regroup it, and uh, that way I can move it all at, at once and it's easy to put where we want it without having to accidentally not get everything at once. So just like with the tumbler, uh, I like having a space set knowing that I can work in, um, that I'm not going to be going off of the cutting board. So Adam measured it and set the circle up for me to put the design in. Yeah, so the diameter, we, 10 inches was perfect for where we wanted it on the cutting board. So that's 250 millimeters, uh, threw a circle in, made it that size, throw it in there and then let it size everything where she wants it. Uh, just playing around with where I think the recipe might look best on the cutting board. Uh, I made the title of it bigger, which I like better, and then just started importing a ton of flowers, poppies, and tiger lilies were the request. Uh, so I just found some online and imported a ton of them to use too, but you just never know uh, which ones are going to look best. All right. Exact same concept as the uh, other picture, bring it in, trace it, delete what you don't want, or ungroup it, delete what you don't want, regroup it, put the flower where you want.
And when I finally get it where I think I want it, we'll preview it, and tweak it again, and preview it until it's just right. Yeah, my friend's awesome as far as being able to move stuff and tweak it, rotate it. Um, see, rotating that flower right there so they get it in the perfect position. Um, get the title big at the top. Preview what it looks like. We now have it exactly where we want it. So our next step is going to be setting up the actual burn speed percentage. Um, and on this one, we're going to do it a little bit different. We just did the regular fill where it goes back and forth whole time it was going to be about a two hour cut. Um, I didn't want to take that long. Uh, so did a little bit of reading and it looks like the fill offset is actually what we're going to try on this one. Um, it's neat because it actually works a little bit more in line with how CNC cuts where it kind of does a circle around starting in the middle and goes out around to the biggest size it needs and then moves on to the next section and it jumps all around crazy I don't know how it does the tool that thing but it jumps all around crazy just like the CNC does but it saves time and drops us down to <laughs> 20 minutes instead of two hours huge huge time saver very worth it so we wanted to test that out and here you can see the preview playthrough of how it's actually going to cut it uh, we Got it sitting at 3,000 speed and 70%. Did a test cut and it actually stopped in the middle of the cut. So I got in light burn, took a look at the console, and you see here that we've got a shock and movement detection that actually shut down the laser. It stops it cold. Uh, when this happens, I just had to stop the whole process, start over, and it starts to burn from the beginning. So there's no way to pick it back up. No way I could figure out to pick it back up uh, from where it was at. So I did a little bit of reading and figured out that it is the um, shock error in the orthers are set to a low number. And you can actually raise them uh, just within the settings here in Lightburn. So what we do is down in the console you hit the money, money, and enter. And then you go down to the money symbol 33 line right now you can see it's here on 400 that's what I've changed it to it's stock at like 250 so this changes up the threshold so that it won't shut off as fast so now that we've got that figured out I've changed that setting uh, we'll get back out on the laser and get the cutting board done all right now that we have it set up in light burn we are ready to burn we have our air assist going in the exhaust fan after our test runs, we've slowed it down some uh, to 2,000 millimeters a minute and 70%.
All right, it's all finished. Let's pull it out. Since this is a usable cutting board, uh, we are going to use some cutting board oil and then we're going to use some butcher box conditioner on it. All right, we got two to three coats of the oil to put on front and back, and then we'll do about two coats of the butcher block conditioner before it's finished. Here is the end product. Uh, the settings were great, uh, came out perfectly. Uh, so we'll see you next time. Remember to like and subscribe.